Hello everyone, this is Srivan and my name is Jagnath Prasad. I will be presenting a video today and this is about 7 practices of success. Success in my opinion is never a specific term. It is not an individual success. Anyone who believes and who is determined in uh, achieving this success can do it with uh, a lot of determination and a lot of compassion. So 7 practices what I feel are the best in my opinion of course this seven practices if done regularly and if you habituated regularly to these kind of practices i believe success is never eluding and these practices is what i would be discussing in this video today there are seven practices and each one of them will be emphasized and enunciated with examples to prove as to why success is never a specific term but a generic term and we'll see how it can be done yeah there are effective practices. These practices are something which have created the world for itself. I have come across a lot of examples from my experience where I have seen people. Uh, you might ask me why are you not successful then if you are not practicing it. It is all about determination. It is all about time. It is about management of your time. And I believe that success is never eluding. And as far as I am concerned, I am successful since I am able to speak about success. I am able to talk about success. I have achieved success, I have seen success in my life and success is something where you believe that what you wanted to achieve and what you desire to do, you have done that and you have been able to achieve what you desire. That is success. Success is your desire, success is your dream. You reach your dream, you reach the pinnacle of your dreams, success is never eluding. So the seven items that we will be looking, the seven practices that we are looking for is being proactive, being an extrovert managing your time efficiently and effectively and being assertive in what you want to say this emotional intelligence being assertive is emotional intelligence which we'll be looking at confluence getting together people getting together motivating others inspiring it's just not motivation it's beyond that it's inspiration and then avoid cynicism negative thoughts people around you can spread negative in, uh, imbibe negative thoughts in you that can be avoided so avoid cynicism and take forward the objectives this is what we will be looking for in this video presentation today. First one is proactive. What do you mean by proactive? The ability to lead even before somebody is tasking you to do a task. The ability to take the opportunity, grasp the opportunity. Seldom we will come across people providing us the opportunities. But if you can take the opportunity. If somebody is looking for some uh, individual task to be assigned to someone, you show them the qualities of your leadership. You show the people around you that you are capable of doing something. I have taken the example of Abdul Kalam here because Abdul Kalam I was working in the DRDO when he was drafted into the ISRO and the mission that he was taking up, the missile, the launch of satellite, he was selected from among a group of people where you had great uh, luminaries like uh, Ved Prakash and uh, you had uh, uh, Satish Dhawan, so many people and still Abdul Kalam was a choice and this is the reason why Abdul Kalam was proactive, he was able to take the leadership qualities. So successful people never wait for opportunities. Please understand this, they create opportunities. Opportunities has to be created by you. You need to tell the people other around you that you have the competency, you have the worth and you have the talent. So take a lead in doing something which people hesitate to do. A lot of people do not have that kind of confidence, do not infuse, do not portray the confidence. If you can portray the confidence and if you can take the lead, boss, I am here to take it up. I am the person who can do it. Put forward your thoughts, put forward your ideas. For example, when uh, Colgate was down in sales, there was a graduate from IIM Ahmedabad who had given up a great idea of extending the nozzle size. This extending of nozzle size had increased the sales of Colgate. This is taking the lead, taking the initiative, being proactive. So fortune favors the brave. Be the first to say, yes, I can do that. Do it with confidence and achieve that success. Extrovert. What do you mean by extrovert? A loquacious person, a person who can mingle with people, garrulous. These are all synonyms of being an extrovert. But they are very simple. You know, there is a saying in English which says, there are some people who make others happy wherever they go. You see if some people come to some gatherings and you will find their company to be enjoyable. So they are the people whom you look forward to. Be such a kind of a person that when you go to a particular occasion, a gathering, people welcome you. People will believe that you have the strengths, you have the capabilities to entertain them. It's not just entertaining, it's about uh, spreading goodness around you. 
and spreading that warmth around being gentle and at the same time being very clear with what you want to say extrovert you know the rockefeller has this uncanny charm the reason why i thought rockefeller is the right choice here is rockefeller remembers the name of names of all the employees of his organization he was such a kind of a person who was address an employee by the name please remember i have seen this from experience if you can address your employees or if you can address your friends by remembering the names they'll be very happy to talk to you so address your friends address your colleagues with the names tell them take them into your stride and confidence everything will work in your favor be an extrovert uh, sir ratan tata has been like that he has been moved into the crowds he has never hesitated to talk to his subordinates he is given the freedom to talk to his subordinates and he has done all that every subordinate has the independence to do so so is warren buffet you know warren buffet holds 365 companies that is uh, her uh, by her the hathaway berkshire hathaway berkshire is the name of the organization of uh, warren buffet and he's got 365 companies under his name and he's been able to remember everything that goes on at the company he's motivated the people to work together success comes to people who are able to gel with others who are able to motivate and inspire others and who treat employees in such a cordial way that the employees feel the warmth of that and they are able to mingle and they are able to provide the success so success depends on other success and if you can be successful you can make other success that confidence is only possible when you are an extrovert time management this is very very important i have seen this a uh, lot of people believe that they can be complacent in time management but i strongly believe time management is very very important prioritize your schedules prioritize your schedules all of us have 24 hours in a day like someone in the media was giving an interview when the person was talking about how barack obama or how bill clinton had only 24 hours how narendra modi has got 24 hours in a day but still schedules his work accordingly so why can't we do that any individual will have only 24 hours not more than 24 hours a president of the country will not have 28 hours will only have 24 hours so if it is all our responsibility to ensure that how do we prioritize our time we should divide and classify this 24 hours into four schedules namely very important very urgent take it up take it up as a top priority what is very very important for example i want to complete uh, my assignment that has been given to me now i like to do that and submit it let us not be complacent suppose a deadline is the uh, 30th of may and i am on 23rd of may let's not feel that you know there are still seven more days let's do it no that is important so do it immediately and keep it if you have more pressing works then it can be decided to a later time but very important very urgent take it up immediately and put it in the first schedule to do that and then less urgent but important do it in the second quarter more urgent less important do it in the third quarter and the fourth quarter is like uh, you no know, talking on the cell phones respond to emails or looking at your emails and junk mails and spams and trying to categorize what are spams and what are promotion mails and trying to answer to promotion calls all these can go to the later stages of so talking to friends talking to your neighbors and try to plan everything can go to the last quarter so prioritize your work try to see that your time management is very very important since i believe that stephen or kobe talks highly about time management if you can spend 1 hour today tomorrow you spend 1 hour 15 minutes the next week you spend 1 hour 30 minutes you expand your time for the work that you have allocated and at the end of the day you will see that you have ample time to complete your work and you will be able to manage your time efficiently effectively to complete the job that is given to you the key is not to prioritize what is on your schedule but to schedule your priorities this is very very important please remember time management ensures success yeah the next one is trying to be assertive when i say trying to be assertive since this is a skill a lot of people hesitate to say no i can't they cannot do certain things but they hesitate to say this that they cannot do this this is a balancing of emotional intelligence along with your successes so being assertive becomes important if i can do this i'll confidently say yes i can do this if i can't do this i should be able to say that i can't do this this is not my job like you know if you give me 100 dollars and if i can't do this job there's no point in trying to portray negatively and say i'll try doing it i'll try doing this this trying is something which is impossible don't try to do things either do things or don't do things this is very very important try to be very assertive in your character 
even when you go for an interview some people ask questions you know like can you do this don't hesitate to say no to something which you cannot do people appreciate in the interview panel when the candidate comes and says that he doesn't know something it's not that negatively portrays an image of an individual it in fact reflects the positivity of the character of an individual trying to be assertive is very important and here i talked about ratan tata ratan tata has always been assertive in whatever he talks whether it be the country whether it be the industry he has been the first person to be very clear with his objectives very clear with his statements and very clear with what he wants to do the way he has uh, removed cyrus mystery from the position also emphatically reflects on the character of an individual where he gives importance and priorities to his own company and to his own people where people in tatas believe that they are a part of the family so try to be assertive say no to something which you cannot do listen to everyone but always try to be your best this is very important assertiveness in your thoughts assertiveness in your actions assertiveness in your talk will lead you to success remember this confluence what do you mean by confluence there are two things here act of influence act of confluence when you are looking at influence people are made to work people are forced to work people are forced to come together but confluence is where you bring the people together you inspire people there's a difference between motivation and inspiration motivation is external inspiration is internal i might be motivated by somebody's speech but unless i'm inspired to do something i would not take up that motivation is ephemeral or temporary but inspiration is permanent so confluence is where you get people together people come towards your objectives that's what qualifies a great leader mahatma gandhi was a great leader because he was able to bring the whole country behind his objectives of liberating india from the slavery and liberating india from the clutches of the british rule if he were able to do that it was solely because he was able to motivate people in groups across the country and bring them all together on a common platform of success this is where the confluence comes so you must be you must be the change you wish to see in this world is what mahatma gandhi says and that's what people has to do you don't do things differently you don't do different things but you do them differently togetherness involves everyone in the group having the same objectiveness and like mindedness bringing together of people who have the same objectives is what we talk about confluence and if you are able to do that inspire people towards your objectives you are a successful person cynicism negativity let not the negative energy creep into people don't have people who have negative thoughts idiosyncrasy is what we we'll say people with negative thoughts always pull you down people with positive thoughts make you a change give you a refreshing change in you people with positive thoughts allow you to take the risks in life and think positively and allow you to move up the ladder if you want to move up the ladder and be successful in life you need to have people who think alike who people who think positively and people who spread positive energy in you because negative energy can be a distracting force so avoid being cynical there are a lot of people down the ladder who are still striving to go up don't join the groups don't try to tell yourself look boss there are so many people who i can't do this there are so many who tried and you cannot do that so how do i do that don't compare yourself with others your strengths are different your strengths and capabilities are different identify your strengths don't try to compare yourself with others compare yourself with yourself sergey bukai who was a great leader in pole vault jumped 6 feet for the first time and competed with himself and then reached the pinnacle to reach 8 feet in the pole vault which was a record set by himself he never competed with others he competed with himself so try to avoid negative people try to avoid negative thoughts and try not to be cynical in your also your work culture try to be optimistic dream towards your success work towards your dreams that is very very important it's all about smart working negative thinkers spread cynicism avoid them the beautiful example of les brown which says that don't let someone else's opinion of you become your reality because somebody else who do not know you can pass a remark but you know what you are work towards it you are a reality you are a change you are a catalyst 
and you can be successful if you realize your potential work towards it avoid cynicism avoid people who are cynical finally let's look at everyone should have objectives you know when i talk about a company it has got a vision it has got a mission when you talk about your curriculum with it you have your objectives when you talk about some planning you have your objectives when you want to move to a new home you have your objectives you have a plan you have a goal you set yourself a goal success is always a journey but never a destination so similarly objectives are set towards reaching such successes in life success is something what you feel in your life to be your your potential the realization of your potential is success have your objectives and work towards such objectives as swami vivekananda says arise awake and stop not until the goal is reached the goal is never never reached and the goal is always setting up targets you see every company has targets they increase the targets every year similarly you have targets for yourself try to reach those targets and set beyond the targets not about unachievable targets targets which can be achieved with determination targets which can be achieved with potential targets which can be achieved with desires and dreams and strive strive towards those targets these are your objectives have those objectives conspicuous and remind yourself of them keep your targets in front of you watch them every day see how you reach them revise your targets reach them again so every day your targets should remind your success and every day you should revise your targets to reach those successes in life associate with people who have similar thoughts and views and work towards achieving these revised targets and setting up new targets and reaching the new objectives objectives are always continuous process and always the success is a journey and never a destination work towards it realize your potential realize success accordingly here let's have a complete thorough understanding of what we have done being proactive yes take the lead and then extrovert mingle with people try to join combine with people try to see how you can get together people and then we have talked about uh, time management which is very very essential managing your time for success and how do you prioritize your schedules become important and an element of assertiveness say no to something you cannot do say yes to what you can do and then your uh, principles of uh, compliance where you are able to motivate people inspire people and then lastly you had this uh, objectives in mind so have your objectives avoid cynicism avoid negative people have all this in your complete understanding these are what can be practiced for achieving success in life have complete control on your financial management on your administrative abilities and have complete control on your objectives that you have set for yourself when i am starting an organization when i want to start my own organization i should have a thorough knowledge about the subject which i am talking about which i am taking up as my organization's goals i should have a complete knowledge in my subject which i am taking it up i should have a complete control on the financials which i am handling every rupee has to be accounted every paisa needs to be transacted that is financial control having a say having a control on your incomes and expenses and then the last but not the least having administrative control have you seen mr mukesh ambani handle a cell phone when he was watching an ipl we don't do that why because he has got people who will take up all the responsibilities and his responsibility is only to ensure that the people work even in his absence so we have seen people who despite being leaders in the organization spend time for themselves and their family that is administrative control financial control you should be able to understand that what comes how it comes and how is it being accounted and how is it being spent so have a complete knowledge on your subject on your financials on your administration and go with all these principles where you be an extrovert where you be proactive have your time management have inspiration and motivation be assertive and avoid cynicism have your objectives all this will finally conclude into one term s u c c e s s that is what a success thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoy this video and i believe it's been informative and if i've been able to be successful in reaching to you and realizing your potential making realize what you are i am successful in this endeavor 
and I thank you a lot for watching this. In case you like this video, I would like you and request you to share and subscribe to my channel Sri Pranava and my mobile number is 778027119. Thank you very much.